Did he just say fake green screen for free? What's going on YouTube? Tyler with Content Evolved and today we're going to bring you a video about how to make a fake green screen for free. You heard that right, faux free. So let's go ahead and dive into that. We're going to start here. You're going to find your camera. You're going to snap a picture of you sitting in whatever you're sitting in, the bench, chair, couch, who knows, a pillow, I don't know. And you're going to want to save that picture preferably with your headset on. That way, when you are tracing your body, uh, it's included and it doesn't look kind of weird if you don't. So I've already got my picture taken and we'll go into paint.net, which is a also a free downloadable software, which I will include in the description and we'll get started in here. So let's go ahead and find that picture we took. There we go, fancy. And then we'll next want to add a new layer, which is where we're going to be doing all of our work on. So we already have paintbrush selected. Let's go ahead and increase the size. We don't want to be here all day trying to trace this out. Uh, I recommend getting a bright color so you can kind of see where you're tracing. And at first I kind of start with just the outline of my chair and body. And we'll go down here and I caution you not to go too far out at first because if you do that, when you actually put this into OBS or Streamlabs, uh, you're gonna have more of a background. People can kind of see what you're trying to hide with this fake green screen. Um, I know that I can kind of go this way with mine and go out this way. Those broad shoulders, you know, gotta cover them up here. That and the big head. All right, so next we can delete this background. Here's our blob. Use our magic wand, select it, and we're gonna do black. Then we'll go to the paint bucket and blacken it out. And that's it for in here. So we'll go ahead and save this. I'll call it my shadow. And you'll wanna save it as PNG. And it works really well in OPS or Streamlabs. So we're done here. Let's go ahead and go into Streamlabs. We're gonna right click our video capture device, go to filters. As you can see, mine's already black because I have a green screen, but we'll go ahead and add the image mask blend. And then you're gonna wanna make sure this is alpha mask, alpha channel. Next we'll browse to find that image or that blob um, right here, and as you can see, I kind of, if I, if I get down a little bit, there we are. Um, and then you want to make sure you give it some leeway because you can see it kind of like, here's a silhouette. Oh, if I can get it, yep. You can kind of see the outline of it. Um, so I would have needed to kind of go over this side a little bit more, um, but just for the purpose of this video, you get the gist of things. So. Now you'll see me here and I'll go ahead and make it smaller just to show you that like it's not going to be the end of the world if it's off by a bunch. So usually when you're on stream anyway, your camera is in a corner or, you know, wherever you place it on the screen and it's usually not that big um, to where people are not just focusing in on you specifically because they're watching the game as well um, and there you have it as you can see we have created a fake green screen if you like this video make sure to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time youtube have a good one